So you've considered hydroponic farming at home and one of the things that you probably want to take a look at is prototypes. Before you get too invested in hydroponic farming, test out a few different varieties and also growing methods. So it's always best to have a prototype or a beta lab uh, for growing and testing. For example, uh, tomatoes oftentimes take up quite a bit of room and for a hydroponic home farm you'll want to pick out something such as a microdorf variety of a tomato plant. Now a lot of the microdorf tomato plants in a smaller container actually are a little bit smaller. If you give them more room to expand and grow they will uh, consume a larger footprint such as this one and it is uh, from Aero Garden, which is a popular company but uh, their seeds do grow in other uh, types of growing systems. What I'm growing this one in is a 14 gallon crack key method or passive hydroponic uh, type of container. Uh, the container, there's no moving parts in it, no aeration, no pumps. It's just water that went up uh, almost to the uh, lid. There's a, a net pot that sits in the center of this uh, lid and the uh, water started out about a quarter to a half inch up on that net cup. So this has been growing and about uh, 112 days. So I've gotten a harvest off of it already and I now have another uh, 31 green tomatoes on it. So if you're looking at uh, being able to have a productivity measure, uh, this type of testing is going to help out tremendously. It uh, will be around 100 to 120 days for a lot of your microdorf uh, varieties to start producing. Now, one of the things that uh, you want to keep in mind is uh, the amount of light. I've got about uh, 500 to 600 what they call PPFD over the top of this plant. And it's coming from a quantum board LED fixture, which uh, is uh, pulling around 100 watts. Now, just for comparison's sake, I did uh, start this out about one day apart from another um, variety, or actually same variety, another another plant that uh, was the same size. And let me hold that up so you can see. And there it is. So. As I said, this is only about a day's difference in starting out time from the plant that you see behind. Now, what you'll notice is, is that this is a half gallon jar. It's the same basic growing method. It uh, is non-circulating and it has no aeration. So with a smaller container like this, uh, the water level with the nutrient does start to drop a little bit more quickly and it has to be uh, topped off periodically which increases the amount of labor that you'd have. Uh, and you'll find that the uh, smaller container makes for a smaller plant and having it sitting on the floor it's pulling less light than what the other plant is and it is substantially smaller. So. If you're looking to simplify your setups, I would suggest uh, going with a container such as this because this uh, 14 gallons is going to be enough that I could start the tomato plant and grow it to fruition without having to add any other nutrient. And as a matter of fact, uh, it does not require as much nutrient as a uh, active or circulating type system. There's no nutrient changes. Uh, the uh, plant itself starts and it will spend its entire life without any maintenance because the timer uh, controls the light fixture and the roots as the nutrients are used will continue to grow down to the bottom of the container and when you get down to about 10% of this solution left the plant naturally uh, terminates but 
if you are uh, sizing up your containers correctly, what you can do is you can grow the entire lifespan of the plant without any uh, nutrient additions. Now, uh, one other thing that you might want to uh, consider is that you're going to use about four to six gallons of nutrient for every pound of fruit that you uh, take off this plant. And it is a uh, benefit to be able to, uh, as I mentioned prior, test out a few different varieties and find out which ones work out best you know for a system such as this if you go with a slightly larger this is a micro dwarf if you go to a true dwarf you may end up going with like a 32 gallon container or if you were to go up to an heirloom type tomato you might be looking more in the neighborhood of 120 gallons so the correct variety is going to be a huge asset to you and your indoor farming